If you suffer from acne and dry skin and you just want a really natural, easy mask you can make at home, then you have to watch this video. Hey guys, it's Mona, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own little DIY face mask. This mask is amazing. These ingredients are so great, so pure. This is really targeted towards acne, blemishes, and dry skin. So all the ingredients are very natural, very pure, but very effective. You know, a lot of these have been used for years and centuries for all different kinds of ailments. So we're really just gonna take advantage of nature here. So the first thing you'll need is some turmeric. Now this is turmeric powder. You can also get the natural root. This will take a little bit longer because in this case you would have to chop it up and put it in a food processor and kind of blend it and dry it. So obviously this is a better route, like the more pure you can go the better. But if you don't have time for that, which many of us don't, you can get organic turmeric powder. Um, a lot of times like international grocery stores or some kind of organic grocery store will really have like the pure powder form. Then you're gonna need some coconut milk yogurt. And right now I'm using garbanzo bean flour. This has multi-purpose. I really like the benefits of garbanzo beans, but flour is also kind of a binder. So if you can't find garbanzo bean or chickpea flour, you can try some kind of like brown rice flour and then some honey. I would really recommend getting pure Manuka honey because this is going on our face and the whole point is to really help our skin and give it just the best treatment available. So let's go for like the real stuff, get everything as organic and natural as possible. So the first thing we're gonna use is the turmeric powder. I kind of line these up in order of how much of each ingredient we need. These are gonna be two tablespoons each. This is gonna be one tablespoon. This is gonna be a half a tablespoon. And we're also gonna use a little bit of lemon that I just kind of squeeze maybe like a quarter of a lemon in. So turmeric, if you haven't heard of it, if you don't know about it, you need to know about it. If there was one superfood I would recommend for everyone, it would be turmeric. It has very, very potent, amazing anti-inflammatory benefits. This is not only good for your skin, I mean, it's good for everything. If you can add it to your food, it helps prevent disease, it helps cure disease. Um, and for your skin, when you think of like red inflamed acne, not only can you have inflammation on the outside, this can help, but a lot of times inflammation can make acne worse. So even if you don't see it, it can still be occurring. So turmeric is just a great overall ingredient. It does give like a very yellow color. So you're going to see that this is like a yellow paste kind of face mask. All right. We've got two tablespoons of that. Should have also mentioned that you need some kind of brush to um, actually apply this mask. It can get a little bit yellow and sticky, like I said, so if you don't want to get it on your fingers, you can use a makeup brush as long as you really clean it and make sure it's completely clean. Or what you can do is go to like Target or any kind of CVS or something and get a paint brush. And obviously don't use it for paint, but you can just paint it right onto your face. Okay, so next I'm using coconut milk yogurt. I love the benefits of coconut. Um, it's got a lot of vitamins, a lot of healthy fats. Healthy fats are amazing for your skin. This is also really gonna help if you have dry skin. It's gonna help kind of moisturize it. You really only need two tablespoons, so the rest you can feel free to eat and snack on. I love making things for your face or any kind of face mask that you can actually snack on after because then you know it's just like really pure. Another good thing about coconut is that it's full of antioxidants, which we can't get enough of. Antioxidants are amazing for your skin. You know, they can brighten your skin, they're anti-aging, but it's also full of probiotics. And probiotics aren't just good for your gut. Sometimes we can also have a bacterial imbalance in our skin. In fact, a lot of new skincare right now is looking at adding probiotics into cleansers or different kinds of serums. So anything that can help balance that good and bad bacteria is really helpful. So the next thing we're gonna add is the garbanzo bean flour. Let me grab my scissors. So to be honest, this is really just, the main point of this is to be used as a binder, but everything that I use in these kind of do-it-yourself face masks, I really like to have some kind of beauty benefit or health benefit. So garbanzo beans naturally do have a lot of vitamins, antioxidants, vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for brightening your skin. So just a little added benefit there. So this is just gonna be half of the amount that we used for the turmeric and and the coconut yogurt. One of the last ingredients we're gonna use is honey. Like I said, try to use Manuka honey, especially when something is going on your skin. I'm always extra sensitive to anything I put on my face because your face is the first thing people see and you wanna make sure that you're putting only the best things on it. Manuka is like the purest form of honey. It's got such great antibacterial properties, so it's really gonna help for any acne blemishes you have. 
and it's also really great for moisturizing. So honey is actually considered a humectant and if you notice in other even skincare products you'll buy over the counter, when you look at the actual ingredients, there's always certain things that kind of go into something to make it work. And a humectant is what really locks in that moisture. So by adding it, we're really just gonna just help combat that dry skin. So lastly, a little bit of lemon. Lemon's just really good adding a little bit of brightness to this face mask, so it'll help kind of brighten your skin. It's also really good for blemishes because it kind of dries them up, but it doesn't dry out your skin. So we're just gonna add a little bit of lemon to give us a little boost of glow. So now I'm gonna mix it up. So as you see, it's gonna make like a pretty thick paste. Now this amount definitely makes enough for two people. So if you want to do this with your girlfriend, with you and your boyfriend, whatever you're thinking, um, you definitely will have some extra. Let me just pull out my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. It will get a little bit messy, so be careful, which is why I also highly recommend using a brush. Now you're just gonna kind of like brush it onto your skin. So just get like a really nice even layer over all of your skin. And if you're wearing, like if you wanna do this after the shower and you're wearing a towel or something, you can bring it down to your neck, your chest. That's the good thing about natural beauty is that not really it's not bad for you so you can put it anywhere and you'll just get benefits it's not like you have to be careful got some on my eyebrows now just warning to take this off sometimes the yellow does leave a little bit of color so using some kind of oil to help get rid of it like whether it's coconut oil or like an oil cleanser will help make sure you get all of it off now, I would leave this on for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes before you rinse it off. One thing I'll warn you, anytime you're trying any kind of new mask, any kind of new product, do a test spot on your skin. So just put it on like your wrist or your arm for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, wash it off. Make sure that you don't react poorly to it because everyone's different and maybe you have an allergy to honey or something, you just never know. So try it out and see how you react. Your arm or wrist is always a safe spot. While you let this mask sit on, Try to maybe do a lip scrub, clean your house, like it's really not going anywhere. Just take advantage of that 20 minutes to yourself. So I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna get in the shower to wash it off, use an oil cleanser. If you guys have any questions on this mask, let me know in the comments. It's obviously super easy, like nothing was edited. You saw me do it all right here. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you want more of these natural do-it-yourself videos for face masks or anything else. And I will see you guys next week. I feel like I can take a selfie. Not cute.